What up, everybody? I know it's been like 50 billion years, but I've had this page since like 2009 or something. It's been a long time. I made videos very sporadically, and I'm sorry for that. And I was trying to be consistent, but I move around a lot. So I'm just going to do a quick video showing you how much my Nintendo Switch collection has grew there ain't gonna be no edits or anything like that so it's gonna be a lot of hand movements and all that stuff you, you see my hands doing that yeah your boy knows that kung fu anyway we'll start off with this uh area blade or whatever this game is terrible <laughs> it's very terrible i do not recommend this game for nothing it looked cool. It really does. But once you start playing it, it is terrible. Unfortunately. And I really wanted to like that game. The Ninja Gaiden Collection. Awesome. It plays perfectly well on the Nintendo Switch. And I got the physical copy. And I was so happy to get that. Your boy loves Power Rangers. I'm a big Power Rangers fan. And they came out with the Super Edition with all the DLC. It has Chun-Li and Ryu in it as well. And I love this game so much. Just think of Marvel versus Capcom with, well, Power Rangers. Xenoblade Chronicles, Definitive Edition. Haven't played this yet, but I know I've heard that it's a really good RPG. Archer Street Fighter 2, The Final Challengers. Excellent fighter game, fighting game, fighter, fighting. <laughs> I'm silly. Anyway, <laughs> great fighting game. I got a lot of childhood memories with Street Fighter 2. A great indie game. Ori in the Blind Forest. Nope, sorry. Ori in the Will of the Wisps, which I believe is the sequel to it. I haven't played this one because I haven't completed the first one yet. Has Been Heroes. It was a launch game for the Switch. <laughs> Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. Awesome game. Beautiful pixel art. The music is banging, yo. I want to get the Amiibos for this also. Dragon Ball Fighters. Z. Excellent fighting game. Beautiful visuals even on the Nintendo Switch. If you want to play this game and you want to play it portably, this is not too bad of a way to go. I have it for two consoles, PS4 and the Nintendo Switch. This was a launch game. Bomberman. Just Bomberman. Super Bomberman. Which is really fun with all the new costumes and stuff that they have in there. But they also have it for the PS4. Fire, him, Fire Emblem Warriors. Great game. If you like waifus or husbandos, this is the game for you. If you like Dynasty Warriors also, or Musou games in general, you'll like this. And pick up the DLC. It's great. This was based off of one of the games back on the NES, but this is called River, it was called River City, but this is River City Girls. And the art style is beautiful. They're coming out with a sequel with this. I, I don't know if you can tell, but it has a reflective thing going on with it. I love this game. It's a good co-op game. It has some relatively nice length to it. And also it came with like a instruction manual. It came with a CD, but I, it's in the closet somewhere. I got the physical edition because I knew I was going to play this a lot. This is Blade Strangers, which is a fighting game with indie characters, Biden of Isaac and uh, Shovel Knight and a whole bunch of other random ones on there too. Great game. I like it. This is, a, a, I forgot the name of this game, but I didn't fall in love with it though. And when I played, seeing the gameplay and all that, 
I was like, oh, I really want to play this in this turn-based, in this very traditional RPG turn-based type thing. If you're into that, you should pick this up. I cannot exactly remember the name of it. If you know in the comments, please let me know. I'm a cartoon fanatic, so Cartoon Network, Battle Crashers, which is a fun little beat-em-up. You know, I... You get to play as your favorite characters that some people know and some people are not familiar with. But it's still a fun game, regardless if, you know, you know the characters or not. Moonlighter is a really good indie uh, roguelike. I haven't got the chance to play. I played a little bit of it, but it was over a friend's house. But I fell in love with it, so I went and brought it for the Switch. A friend get, got me this. She got it for me because of the fact that my favorite animal was rabbits. And she saw it literally in her GameStop. And she saw that it was a rabbit. She didn't really care what it was about or anything like that. She saw a rabbit since I'm Usagi. Usagi, favorite rabbit, favorite animal and all that. She went and ordered, had brought this game and sent it to me. So I'm very, very, very thankful for that. Thank you, Kimmy. Candace of Hyrule. I haven't played this yet, but I've seen some gameplay, and that's why I picked it up. And I like Zelda, so there you go. And the music's pretty banging, too. I love Mega Man games, and Striker Gunvolt is basically what that is. It's like a spiritual successor to it, for the most part. And it has all this interesting story and the characters are pretty you know nice too and i the art on it is beautiful there's an art book out there i want to try to get when i get a chance octopath traveler if you haven't played this you should play it as a traditional rpg with its own special little elements in it and there's so so much story in there i really Recommend this RPG. It's made by Square Enix. If you can get your hands on it, please play it. It has a beautiful pixel art style. Oh my goodness, it touched my heart. Tales games, I collect these. I played these. The first one I played was Tales of Fantasia, and it was on the computer. It was an emulated, and then that's when I fell in love with the Tales games. And then this was the next one I actually played on the Xbox 360, and they came out with another version of this. So, you know, this has all the DLC that was in Japan and all that. That was in the PS3 version. Now it's in this one. Pick this up. You will not be disappointed. Mega Man Anniversary Collection 2. I don't have the first collection of it. But I grabbed this because it was, like, cheap and I love Mega Man. So... I like I'm gonna give it a shot because I never really played the newer Mega Man's like X8 and 7 so they're kind of weird but they're kind of fun in their own way a little frustrating but pick it up if you can this was an import by the way so you might want to just go with the digital copy Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX now, I remember playing this originally on the DS myself, and, you know, and I wanted to relive this. I haven't played it yet. They said they did some quality of life changes and stuff, but I'm going to get around to playing this. Big Pokemon fan, you probably see there's probably Pokemon in my background. Of Pokemon fighting game. I had this originally on the Wii U, so I just picked this up because I really love that game. And I do play it a little competitively as well. If you ever want to just chill and play this with me, let me know. Another Musu game, which is Hyrule Warriors, which is Dynasty Warriors with well, Zelda characters, which is a very fun game. This one has all the DLC in it, so I would pick up this version particularly if you can get your hands on it. Crash Bandicoot. Oh, it was backwards. Oh, that's fun. Crash Bandicoot 4. About time. This is an excellent sequel to the trilogy of Crash Bandicoot. I didn't get to play this that much when I was a kid. 
far as Crash in general, but I played a little bit. I played little demos and stuff on the PlayStation. I also, you know, had, when I asked for this for Christmas, funny story, really quick. I asked for this and my mom, we didn't have much money. My mom got me a game for Christmas, but it was uh, Lilo and Stitch because I'm a big Lilo and Stitch fan. She got Lilo and Stitch, which was a Crash Bandicoot clone, basically. And it was pretty good. And that was my exposure to the gameplay style of Crash Bandicoot. But pick up Crash Bandicoot 4. You will love it. It's a little difficult, but it's still fun. Hades, I sunk so many hours into this game. It's like a roguelike, and it has a story within it, and you just die repeatedly, but you learn more and more about these fun characters. Oh my goodness. I believe they released it for the PS4 now and stuff. Give this game a try. Okay. Everybody know with the pandemic and all that, this was like the perfect time for this game to come out. I sunk so many hours into Animal Crossing building my island. Tom Nook, you're a crook still. But I like Timmy and Tommy. Everything about this is great and it's a very relaxing game. Give it a try give it a try. You will enjoy Island Life. Splatoon 2. I remember playing Splatoon 1. I it reminds me of Nickelodeon. And that's one of the things that got me into this game because like it's just basically slime, but it's ink. Colorful ink. And I love bright colorful games and the the lingo of the 90s and everything about this game and then the lore in two after the first one is really good you don't have to play one to understand two but if you want to learn more about what's the background of everything look on youtube about splatoon one and they'll tell you a little bit of the story this is a really good and get the octo expansion if you really want to challenge man i almost threw my pro controller so many times arms was a I believe either a release, launch release, or very close to it in the window, maybe. Now, this was fun. It's a fun little novelty and stuff. It's like Punch Out, except you're just going against people. The, I love the soundtrack. I love the characters. Min Min for the win win, by the way. Now, when you play this, it's fun playing this with friends, more or less. You can play it online and all that. It's not too much of a story, really, but again, the characters are fun. So that's what you should be interested in. The gameplay is fun, too. It just, you got to be really into, like, the repetitive nature of it. Hyrule Warriors, which is another Musu game, but this one has more of a story. This is actually chronologically to Breath of the Wild. This is a game that's like a Musu game but it has a little bit more depth to it. You can, you know, learn more about the stuff that happened before Breath of the Wild. I would recommend this game. Heck, if you could, play this first and then play Breath of the Wild. It'll be a little jarring, but I feel that you will get more grasp of the story of the Zelda world that they're building. Sin Mora EX is like a shooter, like a like a side-scrolling shooter, which is fun. I like these little type games. I remember playing a lot of them in arcades and losing a lot of quarters. Um, would I recommend getting it? Sure. If you can find it cheap, yeah, grab it. Okay, Fire Emblem. Three Houses, another waifu-like game. Waifu, husbando game. You pick the house that you want to be in, something like Harry Potter. Oh boy, I'm going to start throwing a lot of Harry Potter references. Team Hufflepuff, by the way. Anyway, you pick your house and then you learn more about them every day. You you know, you go into battle. You you know, you could turn battle death, permadeath off if you want. Or you can, you know, have it, you know, the original way you is attended or whatever. However you want to play it, this is a really good strategy RPG. The game that surprised a lot of people, Mario and Rabbids, 
Kingdom Battle. They're coming out with a sequel, by the way. So I should, you should give this a shot. The DLC for this is awesome. The DK expansion, Giant, Rabbit, Donkey Kong. Now, the interactions between Mario and the Rabbits are really fun and cool. And I, I adore this game. It's, it's a lot more challenging than it makes it look to be. But if you like XCOM or XCOM like playing, then you'll like this. Give it a shot. Mario 3D World with Bowser Fury. Get this because Mario 3D World by itself was one of the better games on the Wii U. And if you don't believe me, go look at the scores. And also, Bowser's Fury is amazing. It's quite short, but it's an amazing experience. I recommend this game a lot. If you just get in the Switch and you just like, I want a Mario game, get this one. Or another one that I'm probably going to talk to and talk about in a second. Mario Odyssey. Oh my goodness, this became my favorite 3D Mario game of all time. I can't, the soundtrack is banging. They brought Paulina back. The visuals are amazing. The life into the world is amazing. I love the hats, the capture mechanic, all the fun things you can do, the hidden coins and stars. and It's just a lot to do. Not hidden stars, not hidden stars. But, you know, when you play this game, you're going to get sucked into it. I promise you, you will. Get this game. This is one of the games I will recommend you get for the Switch. If you're just starting off getting into the Switch, get this. Samurai Showdown. For the, you know, it's a Neo Geo collection. It has all the Samurai Showdown games in it. I had to import this one. But I love Samurais in general. Like the lore and Japanese culture and what they did back then in their era and all that. So, because my favorite anime is Ronin Kenshin. Also, this is like the definitive way to play this because they fixed a lot of the problems they have. And I love arcade fighters, especially SNK ones and Capcom. Now, when you play, this would be a little bit more pricier, maybe, for the physical edition. But they have it on the eShop and on PlayStation Store and Xbox, I'm sure. And you can... uh download this it'd be worth the price because if you just play through all of them it has all the samurai showdown games and they're beautiful beautiful wonder boy now i have a history with wonder boy i'll make a short video uh short story about that i had a friend that his dad had like a Sega Master System, which is like the weirdest thing to have. And I was a Sega kid back then. Um, he gave, you know, his dad gave him the Sega Master System because they got the Sega Genesis or whatever. It, it's weird. I don't know. But he never really played it. So what I did, I traded some comics. I think I traded like eight comics for his Sega Master System. And I threw two more again and for the three games he had for it. One of the games was Wonder Boy and Alex Kidd and I think Space Harrier. But I remember Wonder Boy being in it and I started like, hey, this is a really cool game. The concept of it is really cool. And I really liked it, this game. And then I'm glad that they, Neotix came out and just like remade the game and I get to play it again. And it brought back all the nostalgia memories. You can switch it from retro mode to HD mode. The game is fun. It's short, but it's fun. It is short, but very fun. Give it a shot. Wonder Boy. Okay, and then here's Ori in the Blind Forest. I originally played this on the Xbox One when it first came, like later, like a couple of years after it came out. I'm sorry, not the first time. When it first came, when it, when I got to play this and I, the visuals, the story, the gameplay was amazing, and I cannot recommend not recommend this and the sequel enough. 
my goodness i love it so much a uh, indie darling let's go pikachu now if you are a gen one a pokemon fan of any kind and you want to just relive your childhood or something like this play this play this because the visuals are beautiful and I think that, you know, they did a good job of remaking this game. You know, in some things it's a little irritating, like, you know, the go elements in it. But it didn't bother me too much because, I don't know, it was based off Pokemon Yellow, by the way. And there's, there's so many little things they fixed that makes this even better than the original. Pick it up if you can. Or if you see Eevee or Pikachu, whichever one you want to pick, it's a little on the easy side. If you want to make it harder also, take P take your partner Pikachu or partner Eevee out and replace them with someone, some other Pokemon, and then you'll have a more challenging time because they make it very easy. I like sushi. And then they came out with this game called Sushi Strikers. When you're throwing, it's like a puzzle battle game that you're basically fighting people with sushi. And it has a little little story to it too. I like the characters. It's fun. I got this because it was straight up just fun. Playing this is one of those games that I just want to just like chill and just play this. It's very anime, kind of. I think you should give it a shot. You know, throwing dishes <laughs> and plates and Super Bowl. It is amazing. I recommend Sushi Strikers. Again, big Mega Man fan, Mega Man 11. It has this gear system, which is new to the series. And it, it makes the game challenging like other Mega Mans. And it, it's fun. I, I, I feel like it's a fun game. I feel it's fun. Only thing is, I just wish it was a little bit longer. Other than that, the game is great. I recommend this. It's, now it's like really, really cheap. Whatever system you play it on or get it for, give it a shot. It is a really good game. I, I've never played a Mega Man that really disappointed me, really. Dead Cells is a really good indie darling also. It's like a, a what well, is it Castlevania or Metrovania? I don't know if people don't like that term, but it's like a roguelike Castlevania. It's like Metroid, and if it was Metroid on with, I don't know, just roguelike. That's what I can say. This is a really good game. It's hard. Don't get me wrong, it's hard, but it's so satisfying as you get further and further into the game. Trust me. And I like that this one came with a little cute little art book. I like the art book. The art is pretty good, too. Overcooked. Now, I used to play this with, you know, someone a lot, you know. And it was just a fun, it's a fun party game. You go in there, make dishes, and you got to do it in a certain time limit without screwing up and everything. But you got to be bumping into things, crossing different roads. You, it's a lot of, it's a lot of chaotic fun. Get it if you have some kids or you just want to have a nice little family game. It's very fun. First game that came out on the Switch, and it's also on the Wii U, but just play it on the Switch. Zelda. Ocarina, Ocarina of Time. I'm, I'm sorry. I want that to come to the Switch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is Zelda Breath of the Wild. An amazing game. It's Skyrim Zelda. That's the best way I can put that. You can do just about it. And they just, you just wake up and they just drop you in. That's it. That's. It's not really nothing else you can do. You figure everything out. It, everybody's experience is totally different from everybody else's. Get this game. This is a must buy for the Nintendo Switch. Crash Insane Trilogy. Now this is like a remake of the, a HD remake of the original Crash Bandicoot games. And they're still as hard as they were back then. 
<laughs> oh dear lord. But playing them are fun in 4K or fur K. I love that they say fur K. Um get this game is a fun platform. It's challenging, but you'll love the characters and you can play as Coco. That's my boo right there. I can play as Coco. So pick up tra Crash Train uh Crash Twin Insanity and blah 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 and all that other stuff. I'm showing you that I'm not perfect. Okay, Hollow Knight. This is a really good game. I love the characters. I love them a lot, actually. It was a plush that I wanted. It was a Hollow Knight plush. I couldn't find it anymore, though. It was a Hollow Knight plush, and I really wanted it. But, yeah, it's another, like, roguelike game. Metrovania type thing. I, I seem like I like these a lot. But the art style is really cool. And you, 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 the characters are really interesting. Give this game a shot if you haven't. Hollow Knight, I'm sure it's on all consoles, but I have it for the Switch. <clears throat> um, uh, Sonic, Sonic Forces. I'm not saying that it's a bad game at all. I kind of liked it. You know, it was a little short for me. But, you know, together we can make it through. I liked it, the character Infinite. That is a really cool character. I hope he comes back in some kind of capacity. Maybe. But the character creation is a little cringeworthy. But everybody wanted to make a Sonic OC at one point in their life. So that everybody can relive their dream in that. Luigi's Mansion 3 is amazing, actually. I had, you know, I played a little bit of it. I played, like, a demo or something on a kiosk or something. I haven't, like, played it uh, now uh, anytime soon. But I will play it soon because it's getting to that spooky season. And that's when I wanted to play it. And that's what I'm going to do. So that's going to be my gameplay of that. I'm going to eventually play this and tell you how I feel about it. Okay, this is a funny one. I I, I pre-ordered this on Amazon. You know, nothing against Amazon. I know things happen. But I know I ordered the American version of this game. But Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 is really good. You know, especially with the DLC that, you know, with the without the DLC, all the characters, it's like 30 characters already. But if you liked it, the original Marvel Alliance games, it's more of the same with this. But it just has more of an updated roster. And when was the last time you seen an X-Men? Any X-Men characters in a video game? Because, you know, the licenses and stuff. Get this game. It's a good RPG. The story's relatively good. I, you know, I enjoyed it a lot. I play with my friends a lot. Another indie darling. Oh boy, it's a platformer. And I haven't played too much of it, but once again, I played a little bit of it. And that's what usually hooks me if I play a little bit of it. And I like, I played like maybe 40 minutes of it or something. And I fell in love with it. So I'm still going to try to figure out and explore how great this game is. I know it is. It got good reviews. So I love platformers too, so. Now, this was a game I played on, like, I believe the PS2. Camarari Kamer ah, De Demasi. I played this on the PS2, and they made a, I believe this is a remake of it. And it still is fun. It is very ridiculous. ridiculous. You're rolling up people. You're rolling up trucks. You're just rolling up the world and making stars. And I love the king. He is amazing. Um, I can't stress this enough. Give this game a shot. It's wacky. It's fun. If you just want something that's just out there, get Katamari Demasi reroll. Now, shout out to my boys out there. It sounds nerdy. They gave me this copy of 
Mario Kart Deluxe. Now, this is like the best Mario Kart ever. It and it has all the DLC in there. You and they added new new characters also that wasn't even in the DLC previously. All the courses, and it has inklings in it. And I love Splatoon, and it has inklings in it. I went from Yoshi to inklings. So this is a really good game. Great, actually. And then they got a new battle mode, which, you know, you play for a little bit. It's fun when you're playing with people you actually know instead of just randos. It's not as fun. But when you're playing with your friends, it's amazing. Let's see. The next game is the... Dia Diagi... Hmm. Why can't I pronounce this for some reason? But yeah, I can read what it is, but for some brain fart, for some odd reason, Disgaea, I'm sorry. Disgaea 5 is more of Disgaea. This is the complete edition. They got like complete one. I think they're going to come out with two and I think they got four as well. These are, they have some really fun characters in this game that they, you know, they have me cracking up laughing. Panini is hilarious as a penguin. And then, you know, it just, like, when I first, like, tried it and I went and tried to fight the council, I don't know. I thought I was supposed to do that. wasn't, you know, the leave. I don't know why I did that. They murdered me. That was, that was, that was horrible. But this is a good game. It's a strategy RPG. It gets a little convoluted and complicated, but it is a really fun game. Everybody know what Tetris is. Tetris 99, I got a physical copy of this game for a reason. Because I felt, I, I don't know why, I just thought it was going to disappear or something. I, I don't disappear on the eShop or something. And then they was offering, you know, a 12 months extra of the, you know, Nintendo online. So I was like, hey, why? I, I, why not? I'm going to get more of this anyway. So I got a physical copy. I have a problem. I have a problem. It's Tetris. Tetris 99, it has a, it's like a whole bunch of people, like 99 people playing Tetris at the exact t the same time. I don't last long at all with that either. I recently got Scott Pilgrim that was originally on the Xbox 360 and the PS3, then it got taken off the store and I don't understand why. I think in a way I do because of licensing and stuff. But, this is a really good game. You can just download it. I went to limited run games to get a physical copy because I was scared that I was never going to get this game again. I played I played it with my friends and it was like a blast from the past. I like that he kind of got the Sonic thing going on. It's a reversible cover also. And it came with like cards and stuff, you know. But I, I really liked it, the Sonic cover cover so that's why i kept it on that side crash team racing this was another game that i played over friend's house on the playstation and this is a remake of that but they just added everything from the previous crash games and made the best one at first they were doing and i think they still are doing that weird microtransaction thing though that's the only thing kind of sucks but you can still earn all the cosmetics and all the other things Normally, it's just going to be a little bit harder. Still a great game. Each time I see Pac-Man anything, I usually get it because it reminds me of my mom. She was, like, really good at Pac-Man and no one could beat her. She was, like, the man when it came to that. This one comes with, like, a whole bunch of different uh, Namco arcade games. And these are the games that come like Dig Dug and Pac-Man and Championship. It's a very fun little arcade game. If you're into the retro arcade games and stuff, it has had a reversible cover too. But I, I just, something about this art style. Because, you know, Pac-Man like, yeah, I'm doing stuff. So, like I was just saying, I was a Sega kid. And Streets of Rage, me and my brother... 
used to play Streets of Rage, and my best friend used to play Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 3. You know, 3, not as much, but 1 and 2. And they came out with 4. They're coming out with a complete edition of this also uh, pretty soon. And I want to get that version of it because it has all the DLC with it. The story it continues on from 3. And the art style, I know I keep saying this, is beautiful. The combo system is crazy. And the special moves are bright and stunning. And I, I feel... Like, if they made a Streets of Rage 5, I would cry. I cried with this one. But where is skates? Where is the modern skates? He don't got to be wearing skates. We need Adam's brother in there. We got his daughter. Can we have his little brother, please? Please. Thank you. Let's go Evie, the best version, <laughs> because I love Evie. And, you know, like I said before, if you like Pokemon Red and Blue, if you want to relive the classics, this is the best way to do it. Trials of Mana is a game that is basically the same thing as the original, I believe. I haven't played this version yet because I'm still playing the Mana Collection. And I'm still playing that one. So I, I think this is, matter of fact, this is a remake of the exact same game. But I'm playing the original version of it. Um, it just with updated visuals and all that. And everything in 3D and everything. But this is a good RPG. I remember playing this game on an emulator on a computer. And it was really, really fun. But not this version, but the original SNES version that didn't even come over here until recently. But they made a remake of it. Give it a shot. It's a really good RPG. If you like uh, Secret of Mana, you will love this. I believe it's like a sequel to that. Oh my goodness, I love RPGs and Dragon Quest. I haven't got through all of this, but Dragon Quest Echoes Through Time. You know, S. This has, you know, like a revamp. You know, it has all the, all the stuff that it usually had, but it has like this retro form or 8-bit style, and then they have the newer style that you can switch to when you go into a church or something. Either way, it's fun. I, 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 I switch from time to time, but I feel like I shouldn't. I should play it through, like, just one way and then do it uh, through it again another way, the other way. And it says it right on the back, 3D, 2D mode. Art is beautiful. I like the characters. I like... I can't say my favorite character. Well, she's on the front cover though. But uh, yeah, pick that up. It's a traditional RPG, just to throw that out there. Very traditional turn-based RPG. Now, I was one of the kids that had a Sega Saturn. I got it for Christmas and it came with Virtual Fighter, Virtual Fighter 2 and Virtual Cop. It was like a weird double pack. And there was a game that they was advertising that I eventually end up getting later on. I, I rented it like four times and then I end up buying it because I saw it for cheap and Funkoland. Yeah, it, before GameStop, it was Funkoland, people. Panzer Dragoon. This is a remake of that game. And I saw a physical copy of this and I was like, yes, I need this in my life. Damn it, nostalgia, but I needed this. So I went and grabbed it. Again, Street Fighter is very near and dear to me. My brother is the reason why I like Street Fighter so much and this has the incomplete collection of it the 30th anniversary of it these are all of them we got street fighter one all the way to the third strike it's a very good collection and it brings back memories and you can play all your favorite street fighter games in one collection shantae i remember like playing this on a game boy 
Color. I, I played it on Game Boy Color, but this is, I don't think it's the same remake of it or something, but uh, XC made this version of it and I loved it. I remember playing the Game Boy version of it, Game Boy Color, and I ended up loving it and then it just disappeared off the face of the earth and then some like later on in life they just start remaking this like oh let's start continuing on the story with this and making new games of it and they've been doing it ever since pick up even if you gotta get it digitally it doesn't matter these days it shouldn't even matter how you play it or would you get it if you got downloaded digitally from the store or whatever then do your thing this is a really good platformer risky is really funny uh, I must have this in my Switch, but it has like little drawings of uh, concept art of her, of Shantae. Axiom Verge. I got a little frustrated because <laughs> this game is a roguelike also. <laughs> I'm going to get back to it eventually, but it is a very tough game and it, it irritates me a little bit, but it's, it's fun. I It is very fun. I will not deny that. Pick it up if you get a chance. And you, you, you're you in for a bad time, but it's satisfying if you can beat it. And I like the art on the inside, look at that. Yeah, that's nice. Almost through. I haven't even opened this. I grabbed this immediately. Mario 3D All-Stars. It's self-explanatory. Mario 64, Sunshine, and, S and Galaxy. It's a very bare bones collection, but if you wanted to play these games again, I would pick it up even if you gotta get it. I don't even think it's available on the eShop no more. If you can get it physically, grab a copy of it. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Now, this is self-explanatory. Now, everybody should know what Smash Brothers is, but Smash, this one has like 70 characters plus DLC, and I have all the passes and everything. The, the DLC has been really good. The story mode is really good. I like the spirit cards. I like a lot of things about it. My, one of my mains is Incineroar, because, you know, Incineroar! He's a wrestler. Who doesn't like wrestlers? Pokemon Shield. People trip out about that tree. I liked the game. Now, it's not going to be one of those games that I would just be like, hey, I'm going to go right back and replay it again differently because there's a lot of cutscenes that just stops and slows everything down. They got to explain everything to you, even if you know. I understand that it'd be new players and all that, but they should have this option off. Oh my gosh. It's still a good game, though. The legendaries are pretty cool. You can't go wrong with, you know, doggos. Um, I love Yamper because I like corgis and Shiba Inus. I don't like what it evolves into. But the story was okay. Leon was a little overdressed. And B is Bay. Oh my goodness. The atmosphere of it and the whole UK inspired thing is really good. And I, you know, the graphics ain't as great as they should be or things, not the whole Pokedex and all that. But if you get past all that, even the Isle of Armor and stuff and that DLC and stuff that added more Pokemon and more story and stuff, those were fun too. I liked the Summon Legendaries. The Cub Food was kind of cute. But I like Urshifu when it evolves into, I believe it's the singles, no, multi-strike one, which is the fighting water one. Give this game a shot if you haven't already. The Gigantamax is fun too. Like I like Score Bunny. Of course, that was my starter because rabbits. Anything with rabbits, I'm going to love. And then here's, you know, Sword, which is the same thing, just with different Pokemon, different legendary. Sonic Mania, the best 2D Sonic game ever. And I'm going to stick by that. This is plus. It has with the DLC and everything. And, you know, I got the characters Mighty and Ray. 
some new modes and everything. It's a reversible uh, cover and all that stuff, but I chose the Genesis light cover because that's more nostalgic to me. And look at Knuckles. He's just like, yeah, I'm not a running gag on this one, you know? Pokemon Snap. I remember playing the demo of this on Nintendo 64, and I always loved it. I've never really had the game physically. Like, I played it over people's on people's houses and stuff but i never owned the game but i did get the new pokemon snap the visuals are freaking gorgeous score bunny kind of pisses me off because it's kind of hard to take a picture of them and they add more they added more content or adding more content of more pokemon you can take pictures of it's still the same formula as in, as the original one except you know you're not doing as much physical abuse by throwing apples at them but yeah, if you like Pokemon Snap and you like the Pokemon in general and you just want to just take pictures and chill, I would I would recommend this game. Another Musou game. This is Warriors of Rochi's 4 Ultimate. Now this is like a continuation of the third one. It just goes back it just back crazy. Just that's exactly what it is. Back crazy. It just, it just out of control. Is Samurai Warriors and Orochi Warriors, but this one has a lot of Greek mythology inspired things in it as well, dealing with gods and DDDs and all that stuff. These, this is a really good game. Once again, you slash through waves and waves of enemies and stuff, but the story is relatively fine. But you know, I just kind of wish it, it's some characters that I wish was in there, but I, I is I believe they have everybody, but they have different versions of characters that I was hoping that they would change. But it's still a great game. I will recommend this hardly if you love hack and slash Musou games. Obviously I do, I got like 50 million of them. Wonder Boy, this is the newer one. I grabbed this as, as soon as I could. I never got to play the Wonder uh or Monster World, I'm sorry series because it's a whole thing with it, two different like monster world and this wonder boy it's a whole thing but this one has the original game in there and the updated remake and stuff i haven't opened this yet but i will play it now this is the first one that it, it actually had the girl in it instead of it was i think it was called wonder girl originally but Monster Girl or Wonder... It gets confusing. But this is another platform game with the transformations and the fun dragons and the beautiful art style. I enjoy these type games because it reminds me of my childhood. So if you can get your hands on this, for some odd reason, it's going to be really hard to find because it's so niche. But give it a shot. And my very last Switch game that I have is Burnout Paradise. You crash into cars, you race cars at mock speeds. This plays very well on the Nintendo Switch, surprisingly. I love it. I Originally, I will admit, I didn't like it at, at first uh, when it came out the first time because I was so, I was acting grandpa like, oh, I like my original uh, Burnout, Burnout 3 and Takedown and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, open world, grr. But then I started to play this particular version. I started falling in love with it. It has all the DLC, the bikes, all of it. All the weird things that it came with. I, I don't know all the details of all the stuff it came with, but it has all of that. I haven't played it on this particular game, but I played it on the PS4. I have this one. Okay. This video has been going on for like 50 million years. Thank you for listening. Mighty Usagi... Is here and he's gonna try <laughs> to upload more. I haven't got into the editing and doing all that yet, but I just wanted to throw a video out there so y'all know that I'm alive. Thank you, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.